Hello, welcome to Free School Exam Preparation. Today we are going to talk about Edexcel International AS and A Levels Decision Mathematics 1. So in this lecture, we will continue with topic 2, Algorithms on Graph. Okay, so in the previous lecture, we have talked about some previous questions. Um, so now let's just take a look at the question here, which is question 6, and it's from the 2022 June session. Okay, so here we have um, a network of roads, and then we have the name of those towns, right? And she wishes to travel from A to H as fast as possible. So that means we want to find out the shortest path from A to H. So the time taken to travel between G and uh, J is unknown. So here we use X minutes. And Dextra's algorithm is to be used to find the fastest time to travel from A to H. So here we have this order of labeling and final value. Uh, and we want to use Dextra's algorithm to find the fastest time to travel from A to H. So A is here, H is here. Okay, so we have this A is 1, 0, right? So this one has already received its label, which is 1. So now we can look at the vertices which are linked by edges to A, right? So B here, so we use this final value 0 plus 34, so we have 34. And C will use 0 plus 24, so which is 24. And D will use 0 plus 12, so 12. Okay, so among those three numbers, the smallest one will be D. So the final value for D will be 12, and it will be the second vertex to be labeled. Okay, so after that, we can update the uh, working values. So for C here, we'll have this final value of D plus 11, right, which is 23. It's smaller than 24, so we write it down. If it's greater than, we don't need to write down. And also F, it didn't have working value before. So now we can update this one. So 12 plus 31, which is 43. OK, so we have three nodes which have working value but have no label yet, right? Among them, the smallest one is this 23. So C will be the third node to receive the label, and its final value is 23. OK, and then we can update those vertices which are connected with C. However, D and A, they are both connected to C, but we will not update them because they have received their order of labeling already, right? Okay, so for B here, we'll have this 23, which is the final value for C plus 8, which is 31, it's smaller than 34, so we write it down. And for F, we have 23 plus 16, which is 39. And for E, we'll have 23 plus 35, which is 58. And for G, so we have 23 plus is 43, right? So which is 66. Okay, so we have 31, 58, 66, 39. So 31 is the smallest, so it will receive the label 4, and its final value will be 31. Okay, so we can update E, 31 plus 21, 52, less than 58, so we write down. And 31 plus 30, which is 61, less than this 66, so we can write down. Okay, so among those three, E, G, F, right? So the smallest working value is F, which is 39, right? So we write F as a fifth node, and the final value here is 39. So we can update H, 39 plus 35, which will be 74. And 39 plus 52, which is 91. Actually, it's already written here, right? So we don't need to write this one. So now 91, let's just suppose 61 plus X is not there yet, right? So 91, 61, 74, 52. The smallest one will be 52. So it will be number 6 and 52 here. Okay, so once we have 52, H will be updated, right? So it will be 73. Okay, so we have G. 
uh, which is 61, H 73, J here is 91. So the smallest among them will be G. So G will be the seventh, and here is 61. So after G here, so we can update J, which is 61 plus X. So that means 61 plus X is less than 91, right? Otherwise, we don't write this one out. And also the final value here is 61 plus X. So that shows 61 plus X is less than 91. Okay, so we only have two nodes unlabeled, which is H and J, right? So J is a nice, so H should be eighth. So what does that mean? So that means now we are comparing 73 and 61 plus X, 73 should be smaller, otherwise we will label J first. Okay, so here will be 73. Okay, so the fastest path uh, we want to go is to H, right? So how do we get this 70? Uh, sorry, here should we write here. How did we get this 73? So we have this 73 from this 52, right? So it will be EH, and EH we know is 21. Uh, sorry, actually I'm wrong here. Let's just look at H again. So we have this G, which is the seventh, right? So after that, we are going to update both J and H. So G here, update H, will be 71 instead of 73. And for J here, is still 61 plus X. So we'll have 71 less than 61 plus X. And this will be the eighth, and here will be 71. Okay, so we'll have the H here, right? So how did we go to H? That's from G. So we have here the length is um, the time, right? It's 10. Okay, so how did we get G? G is 61. So we have 61 is from this B, right? 31 plus 30. Okay, so we need to have this 30, right? So how did we get B? B is 31. This is from C, 23 plus 8. Okay, so how did we get C? C is 23, right? 23 is 12 plus 11. So it's from D and plus 11. How did we get D? So D is from A, right? And then here we have 0 plus 12. Okay, so we got the quickest route and the fastest time will be the sum of this so 20, 50, 60, 71. And here is in minutes. Okay, so that's for the first question. Okay, so Urza needs to travel along each row to check if it's in good repair. And he wishes to minimize the total time required to traverse the network. So Urza plans to start and finish his uh, inspection route at A. It is given that his route will take at least 440 minutes. Okay, so here we want to use the route inspection algorithm, right? So when we use the route inspection algorithm, so we need to look at the uh, parity of each node. So we start from A and return A. So we'll return to the same node. So in that case, we hope every node can be even. So C is odd. D is odd, F is even, J is even, G is even, H is odd, uh, E, 1, 2, 3, which is odd, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, even, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is even. So in that case, we have to change the parities of those odd nodes. So we have A, D, uh, E, H, which are our candidates, right? So we can do the pairs. First, we do AD plus EH. And then we do AE plus DH. And then we can link AH with DE. Okay, so what will be the shortest path from A to D? Okay, so that will be 12, right? 
And how about E to H? So if we go here, which is 21, or if we go the other route, everything will be longer than 21. Okay, so this one will be 33. And A to E. Okay, so A to E, actually we've already got this. Everything starts from A, we've got from this extra. So A to E here, the shortest one will be 52. And now we just need to look at D to H, right? Where's D? D is here, H is here. So we can go 31 plus 35, which is 66. Or we can go 11 plus uh, 8 plus 30 plus 10, right? So 48 plus 11, 59. Or we can go D to C and then to E to H. So all of those, 59, will be the shortest. Okay, so this one will be 111. Another way is AH plus DE, right? So how do we go from A to H? So now just look at here, that will be 71. And then D to E, D to E, D is here, E is here, right? So we can go from 11 plus 8 plus 21, so 29 plus 11, which is 40. So it will be 111. So in this case, the first one is the uh, shortest. So we'll have this AD and EH, um, so that's how we link them, right? Okay, so in total, our route will be the sum of everything here, which is 383 plus x. And also, we need to add this 33, right? Okay, so this one will be what? At least 440 minutes. So that means it's greater than or equal to 440. So this implies x is greater than or equal to 440 minus 416, right, which is 24. Okay, and also we have some relationship here. So 71 less than 61 plus x less than 91. So this implies x is greater than 10 and less than 30, right? So if we combine these two, so we we'll have x is between 24 and 30. Okay, so write down a possible route for Urza. Okay, so in this case, we'll just go AD and EH, right? So we will link this AD. And also, we have EH, here's 21, so that means we directly link EH. Okay, so the route will be, so we can just go ADCB, um, A, let's just draw this, A, D, C, actually, uh, we can also go to C, A, maybe, C, A, and then to B, and then to C, right, uh, and then to E, to B, so to E, to B, and to G. And then to C, actually there are many ways, and to C, and then to F, and to G, oh, sorry, to, uh, yeah, to H, sorry, to H, and to E. And then we come back again, so just using the one we just added, right? And then to H, and then to G, to J, to F, to D, and then to A. Okay, so there are many ways of doing this as long as you add these two, as I just mentioned. So uh, let me just redraw this. So as long as you go these two edges twice, which is AD and also EH twice, that will be on the route. Okay, so next question. We have a new direct road from D to H under construction and will take 25 minutes to travel. Urza will include this new road in a minimum length inspection route starting and finish A. It gives this inspection route takes exactly 488 minutes and we want to find out the value of X. Okay, so let's say 
uh, let's uh, just uh, let's just look at this uh, new road, which is from D to H, right? So where's D to H? Okay, so it will take twenty five minutes. Okay, so now uh, we just need to look at the parity again. So A is odd. So this time D will be even, right? So we don't worry about this. As we just mentioned, we want every, par uh, every node to be even. And F is even. We don't worry about this. J is even. H is even. One, two, three, four, right? C is still even. One, two, three, four, five, six. And E is one, two, three, four, it's still even. And G here, okay, so in this case, we only need to consider A and E, right? Because they are still odd. Okay, so how do we do that? We just need to find out the shortest path from A to E. And from question A here, we know it is 52, right? So we'll have this total length, which is 383 plus x, which is given here, right? n plus is dh, which is 25. n plus this number 52, that is from a to e. So this one will be 488. Okay, so we have x equals to, uh, let me just calculate this one, 488 minus, 488 minus 77 minus 383, right? So it will be 28. Okay, so in this question, we've used the Dijkstra algorithm, and also we've used the route inspection. So those two are uh, quite important in this uh, syllabus as well. Okay, so let's just take a look at another question. So we talked about this in the previous lecture, and now we're going to look at another one, which is also uh, for Dijkstra, and also uh, route inspection. Do we need to use route inspection? Uh, he needs to read. Yeah. Okay, so let's just look at this one, which is from 2021 June session, question five. So here we uh, have Tamansi decides to use a Dijkstra algorithm to find the shortest route between A and J, right? And between A and K, state with a reason which vertex should be chosen as the starting vertex for the algorithm. Okay, so from A to J, from A, uh, between A to J, between A and K, and Tamansi leaves and A. Okay, so that should, we should use A, right? And the reason is because we are looking at from, uh, sorry, between A and J, right? So between A and J, and between a and K. So A appears in both um, routes. So if we use spectra starting from A, and then we can get um, this A and K, A and J simultaneously, so we don't need to uh, run this algorithm again. Okay, so that's for A. Um, B, so using Dijkstra's algorithm to find the shortest path from A to J and from A to K. Actually, here gives you the hint already, right? So maybe um, you can just at least, if you don't know the reason, at least you can just write from A, right? Okay, anyway, so let's just look at this algorithm here. So we have A, which is uh, the first node, and it, uh, its final value is zero. Okay, and now we can update C, which will be 12, right? So, and also update J, which is 84. And A is also linked to D, 24. And here is 0 plus 32, 32. Okay, so here C is the second because 12 is the smallest among those three numbers. So its final value will be 12. Once we have C, we can update D because 12 plus 11 is 23. And also G, 12 plus 31, which is 43. And also F, right? So 12 plus 39, which is 51. 
Okay, so we have those numbers here, 51, 84, 43, 23, 32. So D will be the third, right? And will be 23. Okay, so we look at the edges here. So D with G. So 23 plus 70, 40, less than 43. 23 plus 69, so 92, right? We just need to write here. 23 plus 32, 55. 23 plus 20, 5, uh, 43. 23 plus 8, 31. Okay, so we have all these numbers. The smallest here should be 31. So it will be the fourth node, right? Okay, so we go from here. We don't need to update the one which already have the order of labeling yet. So we just look at F. 31 plus 18, we have 49. And then 31 plus 10, which is 41, right? Okay, so we have 49, 40, 92, 52, 41. So in this case, uh, G will be the next one, which is 5. So we can update. Let's just go one by one. So 40 plus 8, 48. 40 plus 42, which is 82. And 40 plus 49, 89. 40 plus, we don't need to update this. Okay, so we have 48, 82, 89, 55, 41. So 41 will be the smallest. So here will be 41. So we can update edge, which will be 51, right? Okay, so 51, 89, 48. So 48 will be the next, which is the seventh, 48. And we can update J, 48 plus 32, which is 80, right? Uh, and then we have 51, 89, so 51 will be the next, so 8, 51. So we can update K, 51 plus 30, 81. So 80 is smaller, so this one will be the nice, and we have 80, and nothing to be updated because both F and G and A, they have received their um, final labels, right? Okay, so K here will be the tens and 81. Okay, and then we want to find out from A to J. Right, so we look at J here. Let me just write this one. So J, um, and then, so how did we get this 80? So that is from F, right? And we know this length is, um, actually, because we have this number already, so it's just 80, right? So this length, so uh, J to F, and then how did we get this 48? So 48 is from G. How did we get this 40? 40 is from D. How did we get this 23? 23 is from C. How did we get from C uh, to C? C is from A, right? So we have the, this is from A to J, and it's 80. And from A to K is here. K is this one, so it should be 81, right? And how did we get this 81? 81 is from this uh, edge, right? Okay, so edge is 51. How did we get this 51? 51 is from this E. How did we get this 41? 41 is from B. Okay, so 31 here. How did we get 31? That's from D. D is 23. How did we get 23 from C? And also C is from A. Okay, so that's for the first two questions. Next one. So Thomas's brother lives at F. Where is F? Just mark it. Okay, he needs to visit Thomas at A and then visit the mother at H. Find a route of minimum length that goes from F to H via A. Okay, so in this question, so we, that means we need to go from F to A, right? And then A to H. So here we still can use the one from the Dijkstra. So from F to A, we know the shortest one will be 48, right? And from A to H, where's H? H? Here, which is 51. So this will be 99, but we need to find the route from F to A. F is here, A is to here. Okay, so F, how did we get this 48? 48 is from G, right? So we go to G first. And then how did we get this 40? 40 is from D. How did we get 
D, 23, which is C. And then we go to A, right? And A to H. Now we go backward. So how did we get H? So this is from E. How did we get to E, which is 41? So that is from, um, actually we have this already, right? So we can just write this one, A, C, um, D, B, E, H, A, C, D, B, E, H. Okay, so actually for this question, we only used like extra algorithm. We didn't use anything else. Okay, so maybe we can take a look at another one. So this is question seven from the June 2020 session. Okay, so we have this thing and Malcolm wishes to minimize. Uh, okay, so from A to H, right? That extra, okay. So A here will be zero, one. So we update B, 10, D, 20, 0 plus 22. Okay, and then we look at those three numbers. 10 is the smallest. So 10 plus 11, 25, and 18, right? Okay, so among them, uh, 18. Okay, so 18 plus 2, 18 plus 11, 18 plus 52, right? So that would be 7. Okay, so 20 here, 20 plus 7, 27. Okay, so 25, 27, 70, 25. Uh, so that should be fifth, actually. Give me one second. No, actually after, after D, this is wrong. So we can't have this yet. So after D, we need to update this E as well, right? Because uh, we have here is 5 plus 18, so that will be 23. Okay, so now we have this 21. Uh, no, 18 plus 2, 20. Okay, so now we have this 20, right? So 20 is still the smallest, so 4, 20, and here we update to 27. Okay, so now 23. So it will be 5, 23, and here will be 36. And this one... Um, so 27, okay, so 14 plus 2x, do we know any range of x? So the delay is from on two of the little edge, and so the time taken to drive is in terms of x, where is x? Okay, so um, 27 is um, smallest among 36, 70, 27, right? So, but here we just need to update this number because I'm not too sure about if 23 plus 14 plus 2x is greater than 70 or less than 70. But for now, let me just write this one here. So this will be 70, uh, 37 plus 2x, okay? And then we have 27, which is obviously smaller than 36, 37 plus 2x, right? So we should have this one being the 6, and here's 27. And now we have those... 2. So 37 plus 2x for sure is greater than 36. Even 37 plus 2x is less than 70. Still, 36 is less, right? So no matter what, we'll have g being the next one and will be 36. Okay, and then we have 36 plus 15 plus x. So it will be 51 plus x. Okay, so it really depends on those three numbers, right? So it can be 70, right? So since states the length of each leaving your answer in X when necessary, or it can be 37 plus 2X, or it can be 51 plus X. So really depending on uh, X value. Okay, so if it's 70, so how did we get 70? So this is from D, right? So we have D, H. So how did we get this 18? So this 18 is from B. So B is from A, so it will be A, B, D, H. So if we get this 37 plus 2X, so that means we go through E, right? So we have H, E. E here, 23, is from D, and D is from B, and it's from A. So if we have this 51 plus X, so that means we go through G, and G is from E, and then we have D, B, A. 
Okay, so this question, actually we have three different cases depending on the value of x. Okay, next one. So on Monday, he needs to check each road. Okay, so now we're going to do the road inspection, right? So he finds the minimum duration to traverse exactly four roads twice. And the total time is 307, four roads twice. Okay, so we want to find out the minimum time taken for him to travel from A to H. So here, so he must travel, start and finish at H. So everything here needs to be even, but H is odd. So we need to change its parity. G is even, it's okay. E is even. B, one, two, three, four, even. D, one, two, three, four, five, six, even. F, even. C, even. A, odd. Okay, so that means we need to link A and H, right? Okay, so how do we link A and H? So that means this route needs to be the shortest. And as we just mentioned, there are three different candidates here. And then we know he um, travels exactly four roads twice. So if he goes the first one, AB is one. BD is second, DH is third. So he, he travels A, B, B, D, D, H twice, but there are only three routes. And for this one, A, B, B, D, D, E, E, H, exact four. So the shortest one will be 37 plus 2X, which is using this way, right? And plus the total here, 205 plus 3X. Okay, and for the last one, one, two, three, four, five. So he needs to travel five. So this is not right. So this one will be the shortest, and its value is three zero seven. Okay, so we have five x equals to, uh, two seventy, two seventy, um, sixty five, right? So x will be thirteen. Okay, so we know x is thirteen. So the minimum time to take. Uh, him to travel from A to H. So that will be 37 plus 2X, which is 37 plus 26, and this is 70, uh, 63 minutes. Okay, so that's how we do this question. So I think this one is quite different from the other questions. So if you are not familiar with this one, you can just, um, just try to review this carefully, right? Okay, so that's everything for this lecture. We hope you have enjoyed it and wish you good luck with your exam. So if you're interested, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.